Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll put two comments there. Does it count? If you think it counts, drop a like on that one. Does it not count? Drop a like on that one. And then that, that can be the ultimate decider. Never mind the federations, never mind the world record books, whatever history dictates, this comment section will make the final decision. I'm gonna pull file one and I'm gonna stand tall. I'm not gonna fall to the ground. I'm just gonna make it and then walk away, you know. I'm buzzing for this, you know. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. If you are here for the title of Thor's 501 kg deadlift or whatever the hell he manages to hit in around about four hours time, it is about 1 p.m. here in the UK. He is doing it around about 5 p.m. UK time. We are gonna be streaming it on Core Sports, I think, because as far as I know, the world's strongest man commentator, I don't know anybody's names. You'll, you'll get to know throughout this video that I am just, an, an amateur admirer of things like this. I don't know the ins and outs and I don't know everybody's names. However, I did used to watch World's Strongest Man as a kid and all this kind of stuff. I didn't actually witness Eddie Hall's 500 kilo one. Um, I don't know what I was doing. I was at university and just, to be honest, didn't really know it was even happening. However, now I have a lot more interest in it, just in general, right? And plus, I do this YouTube thing. This might get more views. That's how I get paid. <laughs> so I'm gonna make this video. <laughs> so a few days ago, I actually uploaded a video um, attempting to train like Thor. Um, <laughs> so go and watch that at the end. I'll link it at the end if you fancy a laugh. Um, how accurate it was or anything like that, I don't know. I just Googled his plan and kind of took a session. Did it in our little home gym kind of setup. Much like Thor, we are having to train in our home gym. Actually, having said that, I train here on a daily basis, whether the gyms are open or not. This is our home gym setup. It is where I film the majority of my videos, especially right now. It is nine times out of 10 where you'll see me. So if you are new here, you like what you see, you'd like to see me training here on a daily basis, not necessarily doing strongman things, just doing a bit of this and a bit of that, then stick around. This is the place for you. So before we get into the deadlift itself, which is happening um, in a few hours time, it is kind of obvious, right, that we have to touch upon the little bit of, little bit of skepticism, little bit of drama surrounding it, right? I personally don't know enough about Strongman specifically to kind of form a proper does this count opinion. I don't know enough. I don't know anything about the federations. I just like watching it for a bit of fun every now and then. I like to try things like that Thor video every now and then. But that is about as far as my experience kind of goes. So I'm just going to provide a little bit of a context as to what I know regarding the entire situation because I know that a lot of you guys that already follow me in the first place won't know an awful lot or potentially might not care but you're watching the video anyway might not know an awful lot about this kind of situation. So, the current world record deadlift holder is Eddie Hall. 2016, he pulled 500 kilos for the first time, collapsed to the floor and everything. It was a fucking spectacle. It was incredible, right? A ridiculous just feat of human strength. Now, four years later, to my knowledge, that still stands and hasn't been broken in any federation or in any way, shape or form. Today, May the 1st, May the 2nd, 2020, Hathor Bjornsson, will be attempting to break it with a 501 kilo deadlift. He might even push it to 520, he might push it to 530. I've even heard rumors of 550. How realistic that is, again, I don't know. However, that is a little bit of kind of context regarding the, the situation. But, and this is a big but, especially to people that don't really know as much like myself, he's doing it out of his home gym, right? But it's not a home gym like this is a home gym. This is our garage that we've just kind of kitted out with some mats and some racks and stuff like that. This home gym may as well be a commercial friggin' strongman gym. It's just that he owns it and has his name to it and can make a bit of money from it, I assume. All it takes really is a quick Google search to see that this is not your average home gym. Obviously the situation that's going on right now, there's no competitions on, whether that's bodybuilding, strongman, th even things like the Olympics have been postponed until next year. So there's not much else that you can do, but this is where the controversy kind of comes in. Um, because Eddie Hall broke this record, broke the 500 kilo boundary in a competition. And this is where I think Eddie's fans and Thor's fans kind of clash because one thing one should count and one thing the other shouldn't count. And 
you know, it, it just gets a bit of, a bit messy, really. So let's say Usain Bolt, right? Let's say Usain Bolt said, nah, I've decided to come out of retirement and actually I feel like I can run 9.4 seconds, but the Olympics is postponed until 2021. Ah, uh, in 2021, I'll only be able to run it in 9.8 seconds. Like, well, you have to wait until 2021 Olympics then to set that world record or set that Olympic record. This is like the same kind of thing in terms of it not being a strongman competition, but he's still being allowed to set a record. And to a point, I do get it because you wouldn't let Usain Bolt run that 100 meter record, world record, Olympic record, whatever it happens to be, you wouldn't let him run that at Loughborough University practice track, would you? You wouldn't let him run it on a training track. I know that it's his gym isn't a training track, so to speak, but it's not a competition. It's not the Olympics, it's not the World Championships or the Commonwealth Games or whatever, you know? The kind of places where those records have to be set. But then on the other hand, 501 kilos is 501 kilos. You could look at it from the perspective of, well, doing it in a competition is technically easier because you have the adrenaline and all this kind of stuff, but then at the same time you could say that a competition there could be delays on the competition. He doesn't know when, exactly when, he's gonna be doing that deadlift, whereas he can build it up in his own home gym to do it at 5 p.m. UK time. That is when he's gonna pull that deadlift, whereas if it's in a competition, he could be like, yeah, you're coming on at 5.30, and then he doesn't come on until 6.15. But then you could look at it from the perspective of he's doing it in his home gym, he's in control of everything. But then he could say, no one would set a javelin world record, shot put world record, or anything like that in their frigging back garden. But then again, you could say 501 kilos is 500 one kilo. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll put two comments there. Does it count? If you think it counts, drop a like on that one. Does it not count? Drop a like on that one. And then that, that can be the ultimate decider. Never mind the federations, never mind the world record books, whatever history dictates, this comment section will make the final decision. On a serious note though, if you do know your stuff about strongman just as a whole rule, stick a comment in the comment section down below. Help help us all out, you know, because I feel like a lot of people watching this channel might not actually no, might be in the same boat as as me. But I do see why Eddie would be pissed because again, I, I keep referring to the Olympics. I like the Olympics, okay? Get, deal with it. I held it in my back garden the other day, the irony, I know. Anyway, moving on. I think Usain Bolt would be pretty pissed if Johan Blake or Tyson Gay or any other runner for that matter broke his 9.63 world record or whatever it is on a practice track, in a university track. It's like, if, if this happens, then where do you draw the line with other things? I think the danger from a kind of neutral perspective, I'm not a massive, massive fanboy, I'm not a massive competitor or anything like that, but from a neutral perspective, this happens, where do you then draw the line as to where other things can be set? Because strongman, to me personally, again, as a neutral person that has nothing to do with the sport, it is a general thing. It is about being the strongest all-round athlete and I feel like this has started to become a focus on one lift who can have the record in this lift in this lift in this lift and yes that is strong and it is strong man technically but to me strong man is being strong at all lifts across a competition day if that, if that makes sense or days so I don't know I hope he pulls it personally so that I can witness history because I didn't watch Eddie Hall live and that's bugged me ever since that day. Well, not really ever since that day, but since I kind of had a little bit more interest in stuff like this, then it's, it's kind of kind of bugged me, especially recently anyway. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. We will have the final say, people. Never mind the record books. LSJTV is the place where you can find out the truth. Three, two, 501 in 501. We're watching on the Rogue stream. Five minutes to go. And then we'll see how he gets on. <laughs> that was 420 kilos and he did it faster than I can stand up right now. <laughs> What the actual? <laughs> I tore my lat pulling 446. It's, it's weights that can rip your body apart. You, you, you know, unless you've been up near these kind of weights, you just don't understand how much they put under your body. 
you know, we saw how 500 kilos, Eddie talks about how it really killed him. Pat Thor is a different specimen, he's, he's a genetic freak, six foot nine, you know, the, the body weight. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Jesus. What the fuck? I mean, excuse my language, but... What? <laughs> you know when you just see something and you're like, what the hell did I just witness? That was that. That, was that. I mean, regardless of, of, you know, what you think or whether you think it's legitimate or not, that was 501 kilos fast. Like, he made that look easy. And that is the bottom line of it. Wow. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section down below and I hope you have enjoyed today's video. It is somewhat of a shame, um, in my opinion, that it had to finish with the, the boxing call out. I'm not too sure what I think about that. But having said that, you'd watch it, wouldn't you? You'd bloody watch it. And I would watch it. I say that just now, but then I'm like, nah, actually, if they were in a ring, I'd, I'd watch it. <laughs> and regardless of who can pull what, if one of them knocks the other one out, that's it, game over. That's who wins, not who deadlifts more. Sod it, let's put another poll in the comment section down below. Who would win the boxing match? Would it be Thor, the new world record champion, or Eddie Hall, the world record champion in a gym? <laughs> Either way, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. We have just witnessed history one way or another, people. Whichever way you look at it, that is history one way or another. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow in the next one.